Hello and thanks for watching Dear the Mouse and the Guardian. Um, I'm going to start off by doing a, a simple side wheel. Uh, so tin foil balanced on on this pick here. Whoops. So this is kind of the first thing that I learned how to do. It's the first thing that um, beginners learn to do. The reason why there's a book here is because the computer has a fan underneath to keep it cool and that fan blows air out the bottom. So I'm blocking as much of that air as possible so that you can witness the movement of uh, telekinesis, the movement of this tin foil. Okay, so now, now that I've done the tin foil, I'll do this dollar bill. So you know I'm wearing a mask. When you get good at telekinesis, uh, you can do more things than just make it turn. You can make it bob up and down. Um, you can make it freeze in place. I'm still learning how to turn it left and right. It's been three years. You'd think I would have mastered that by now, but uh, still, this is pretty good for practice okay so <clears throat> I'm gonna start out <clears throat> moving this tin foil here but now I'm gonna move it on this and because there's a little bit of tiny 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 bit of airflow I'm kind of using that to help me There's this fly being annoying. So I, I actually, I was practicing on here, but it seemed like it was, it was harder for me to connect with it here. Now you can hear the fan going, right? It's working a little bit harder. So when you want to get it going, sometimes you have to play with it a little bit, right? Fan it with your hands, warm up your, your fingers. And then you practice with your focus. Come on, fly, leave me alone. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so anyways, 
what you have to do is you have to convince yourself that you can move it. You've gotten to the point where you can move it on this thing, where it's balanced on that thing. And, and even though it's in a different orientation, it should still, you should still be able to affect it at least a little bit. So there's different things you can do. Um, one thing you can do is get more space so there's less, less holding the tin foil. So by lifting it, by lifting it, uh, up in the air a little bit you can you can get get more uh, more energy around it so you might do what I call balance balancing energy which is you're just kind of moving your hand all around doesn't have to be your whole hand, it can be your finger. But you just want to get that sense like it responds to you. And then it, at some point, um, once you've done that, I would do that, you know, for five, ten minutes. Uh, another thing you can do is this, where it's like this, and then you, you just try to get it to walk around in a circle or to the side. But we're not here to see that. We're here to see movement even when air is not present. And it's not, sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do, but So I feel a little bit of airflow within my hand, like along my palm. Um, I take it as a good sign if I start to feel like a buzzing electricity in my hands. I was feeling that earlier. Um, so again, just bring it almost to the edge and then kind of squeeze your hand ever so slightly and that exposes your skin over and over again to the air Right. Breathe deep. Even pull back a little bit. And think in terms of vibration. Think in terms of sometimes you're moving the foil, sometimes you're moving the air around the foil, which causes the foil to move. Okay. Now you try the other side, okay? This is all about getting yourself used to seeing the movement. 
and just keep remembering that feeling that you have when you when you spin it on a side wheel and in time I believe that you you'll even be able to have it like sitting sitting on the desk and you'll just be able to exert some energy towards it and it'll start to move around the desk. I'm, I'm going to cut this video short. I, I want to keep my videos rather short. So, um, peace and be well.